The West Indian Himalayas is spread across the two states, the Jammu Kashmir and the Himachal Pradesh. It is a high altitude desert situated between 27 and 4600 meters above sea level and is located on the border of China and Pakistan. The area is very difficult to reach. In the winter, during six months, the passes are closed and the area can only be reached by plane. Of the 250,000 inhabitants who lived in this region, 90% live in rural areas and among them, 80% live on less than 70 euro cents per day per person. The region is characterized by very rigorous weather conditions. There is little rainfall, less than 100 millimeters per year. Water resources therefore essentially depends on snow and glaciers melting in higher altitudes. In spite of the exceptional amount of sunlight from which this region benefits, the temperature in winter can frequently reach minus 20 degrees Celsius. The summer season allows agricultural activity from May to September. The average surface used by farming half an acre per family is dedicated mainly to cereal. Some lower areas are adequate for fruit farming. On the uplands, the main activity is animal breeding. The traditional way of life of a region's populations was adapted to limited natural resources. However, in the course of the last 50 years, the region has undergone profound changes and the progressive monetization of the economy has generated new needs. Since the 1970s, the population has doubled in size, causing impoverishment among the inhabitants and a flow of migrations to the cities. The NGO Jerez has been working in the Western Himalayas, especially in Ladakh, since 1986. Its main objective is to assist these populations in making a controlled transition from self-sustainment to integration from an Indian economy while preserving the traditions. When implementing its action, Jerez relies on the existing network in the region. The involvement of local NGOs at all stages of development programs is an essential element in ensuring an efficient response to the expectations of a population to best introduce innovation and to reinforce the know-how of everybody involved. One of Jerez's area of work consists in applying to construction the principles of passive solar architecture and efficient energy the house orientation adapted to the climate, the integration of large windows openings directed south, and using a good insulation. The materials used are locally available and the building techniques are handled by masons who have had specific training. These applications improve thermal comfort while greatly reducing the need for heating fuel. There is a 10% increase in investment, whereas the needs for heating are reduced by at least 50% in houses. The harvesting of donk and wood used for heating is mainly ensured by women and children. This daily hard work is therefore reduced by as much. In addition, the interior atmosphere is warmer and contains less harmful fumes. We have noticed fewer respiratory ailments caused by these fumes, one of the main causes of death in Asia. Finally, a solar house would have saved nearly three tons of carbon dioxide each year the equivalent of the carbon emissions left by a passenger on a round trip from Paris to New Delhi. These solutions are also used for public buildings. In Shea, a high school of 200 students was built thanks to the technical support of Jerez. No heating is now used. Under these conditions, the additional cost invested in the passive solar construction will be absorbed in less than four years. In India, Nepal, Tibet, Afghanistan, 
More than 300 buildings for public or private use have incorporated these techniques thanks to Geras. In the winter, when mountain passes are blocked by snow, fresh vegetables are imported by planes and the prices are three times those of summer. In the more remote areas, fresh vegetables in winter are not available. In this context, Geras helps with the distribution of solar farming equipment. More than 500 greenhouses have been created in Ladakh, Laul, and Spiti. Built with locally available materials, the solar greenhouses can yield up to five harvests a year, including winter. Much of the success met among farmers is also due to the involvement of local NGOs, which provides the farmers training of cultivating under greenhouse, as well as aid and follow-up. <laughs> With a solar greenhouse, a Ladaki farmer can hope to sell his product all year round and receive up to 300 euros of additional income, that is to say 50 times more than the same surface in the open fields. The most impoverished families can see their annual income increase from 25 to 50 percent. Eight bioclimatic chicken houses have been built. Also based in the principles of passing solar architecture, 80 bioclimatic sheep folds enables nomads to reduce the mortality of sheep in the winter. The Jarrah's fields of action also concerns the development of collective economic activities. In this workshop, built according to passive solar techniques, an association of 14 women produces handmade textiles. The project follows through by training them in the technical processing of wool, but also in the management and marketing. They learn how to control all phases of their activity, from purchasing raw materials to the sale of products. The goal is to make them autonomous in order to continue their activity without external support. <laughs> Pan barang by barang jeng media lale chun jeng mana tena minga cuksun curi siang minu garale. Tene judit kun kau tena izah si kampa izah si agas agam lale tena ngaja ika kampa sarpa sang tene ika tasa ika skit pura lale ta ishel tangspa tene hul la la show na kasuk si show na bohar tangos meji sanga yang kharcha chogos me tangaja demo nangya putu bedal lale. Tene ngaja tasa ngalan tu kos dug nyana bedal lale tangos sompa sang sitro tu windus pa ganta nyisi mana la show mele. Tasa ngaja i nando ngato gari cuksik the halam chure chukshik rika yon te taksa ji chukta ngaja inna ka last nya de thala le inna bu isu tu pasan daron gya la shel na te rang samachi sama chad na jing ngaja salpa another field of action for jeras and its partners concerns access to electricity for domestic and productive uses the power generation equipment are micro hydroelectric plants of 5 to 30 kilowatts the facility is managed by a village committee which organizes the distribution of electricity for various activities and which collects revenue. This will ensure the maintenance and the renewal of the facility. In addition to domestic lighting, the access to energy allows the populations to exploit their natural resources. Thus, the traditional economic activities are consolidated and the new activities such as oil extraction and woodworking are created. Rural electrification reduces the fatigue associated with much housework labor. Since 2005, Jerez and its partners have helped 10 villages to have access to electricity and energy services. Jerez's implications always rely on a strong partnership with NGOs, public officials, and as well as long-term engagements. They have permitted improvement of living conditions for several thousand families. 
Generally, developing countries are associated with warm climates, thus neglecting the more than 50 million people who live with similar conditions in all mountains in the world. Renewable energy, solar or hydroelectric, appears to be an attractive solution to the energy problems in these cold regions, providing that their integration in the territory is founded in a future perspective. An appropriation with the local development actors, an appropriation with the local economic reality and a long-term vision, are the minimum requirements to be taken into account to ensure the sustainability of the actions implemented.